the process of how pancit noodles are made, it's time for me to go eat some. Old Center Pancitaria can be found along San Luis Street in Lukban. Now that you've seen how the Miki noodles are made, I get to taste it. So I'm along Calle San Luis, and this is Old Center Pancitaria, which has been around since 1937. And they are the pioneers of this pancit lukban. And I'm excited to try it. Let's go. Hello. Welcome to Old Center Pancitaria. Thank you. Pasok tayo. Salamat. There you have it, the finished product. This is the pancit hab hab. So you saw how the noodles were made and then how this was cooked in the kitchen. And here's the finished product. Wow. Mmm, sarap ng amoy. Yeah. <laughs> si John naman is the second generation owner oh. of this old center pancitaria. Oh. Ano ba yung history ng ano ng pancit hab hab? Yeah. Yeah. Yung tatay ko, tagagawa ng Chinese descendant. Mm -mm. Dalawa silang nag... nag nag tumutulong sa Chinese noong 1937. Ngayon, nagka World War II, umalis yung Chinese. After World War II, naiwan yung dalawa. Kaya lang, ang nagpatuloy nung, nung negosyo ay yung tatay ko. Siya yung naggawa by hand. Galing. Yeah. Thank God for that. <laughs> no, 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 Walang pa, machine. machine. Walang machine. Nag-invest siya sa kung paano mapadali ang paggawa ng pancit tab ha, bumili siya ng mot motorize. Naging motorize. Nung may mga motor, makina, slicer, lahat. Siya yung nag-invent nun. Lahat kami, magkakapatid kami tinuro. At syempre, kung sino yung pwedeng humawak, siya yung nahawak. So far, ako yung naging Naging main, successor. Main. Oo. Pag si Tabab is roll on the paper, mm -mm. na kinikilo, wala pa tayo nung dried. Dried Mickey. Yung dried Mickey, yun yung isa sa aking investment mm -mm. para mailayo yung pag si Tabab to Manila. Ah, so meron kayong ano, noodles dyan sa Manila? Oo. Saan sa Manila? Not, not in the restaurant, in the supermarket. Yung, so the dried noodles, dried yung noodles. parang package? Yeah, oo. So you guys can attempt to make this hab, -hab but I'm not quite sure if you can perfect the recipe. <laughs> I'm excited to try it. Sige, tikman natin. Sige. You have to show me kasi ikaw yung expert. Paano ko kakainin yan? At bakit, bakit ginagamit ng, ano, ng dahon ng... Sagi. Ito yung way ng pagkain ng pancit tabhag. Ang pancit tabhag ay the form how to eat na noodles. Pancit tabhag na dahon ng, ng banana leaf. Yes. Use your tongue. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ganun. Uh -oh. that's, that's what habhab means, di ba? Habhab. Uh -oh, hab -hab, yeah. Okay. This is street food. So street food. actually, like the mga carpenteros oh. or the the workers, oh, right? that's yeah. how that's why it began. Like that's how they started eating it like oh. this, because their hands would be dirty or walang oh, kubiertos. Wala. Oh, oh. Kaya so, naging pancit tabha. Balimbawa, merienda tayo, malakit, mm -hmm. tapos nasa trabaho. Kakain sila, madumi ang kamay. Siyempre, mm -hmm. kailangan dahon. Yes. But diba, better, for, better for the environment naman. Yeah. <laughs> walang plastic. Oh, kasi nabubulok. Oh. Yes. Ay, mainit to ah. Magkakain ka o, oh, ganyan o. Oh. Gagamitin mo yung bibig okay. by the help of ng tang. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, this will be interesting. Mahirap. <laughs> <laughs> Mahinit ba? Baka I'll burn my tongue. Okay. Hindi, hindi. Dila at mouth. Okay. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Pumunta sa ilong ko oh. I'm not yet an expert. I have to learn. Mm. You learn? Mm. Sarap, ah. These are eggless noodles. So it's parang mas chewy siya, oh, diba? Oh. And there's a bit more resistant than canton, canton or... or uh, Masis bato? Mm -hmm. Yung iba-iba. This one's really yummy. There's a lot of texture to it. Yeah. Mm. Yung sauce. Remember? 
masarap yung sauce. So, oh, what's the secret of the sauce? Are you gonna share? <laughs> uh, broth, broth. That is the main secret ng pansit tabha, broth. Mm. So, John shared with me earlier na the secret to the good pansit is the broth. So you have to make sure it's very well seasoned yeah. and there's good well, meats. Cooked. Well, yeah. Cooked. yeah, meat and, and bones. Boiled. Boiled. Yeah. Sandra, it's better to eat pansit tabha with suka. Mm, okay. Yeah. Put suka in the pansit tabha. Okay, ayan. Okay, ako din. Try it. I'll make you gaya gaya puto maya. <laughs> Woo! Okay, ganun ka dami? Okay lang. Okay lang, okay. Okay. Tapos, then, again. Then, hab-hab. Hab-hab. Hab-hab it my way. Mmm! It's more delicious. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Than soka. Mm-hmm. It adds some... Um, a bit of asim. It brings out the flavors even more. Yeah. Mas masarap talaga suka. Wanting suka on your pancit, and then you can hub hub it your way. This is awesome. I'm really enjoying this, and I love the fact that there is no cubiertos or plastic or anything that's bad for the environment. Plus, it's super masarap. Ay salamat. Okay. Oh, One more. One more. Oh. Yeah. Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> mm. There you have it guys. This is the town favorite. So when you're in Lukban, don't just come for the Pahiyas Festival. Although that's really fun, right? You have to come here and eat the Pansit Hab Hab. And then, I'm gonna practice how to eat it some more. And I'm gonna really enjoy it. <laughs> you know sarap. how to eat pancit tab, ha? Mm, mm, so sarap. Because I have a good teacher. Oh. Diba? The original taught me, imagine. My mentor is the original. My notes, pang spoon teeth fork. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I got it right. So now, Derek, it's my turn to tell you what to do. Okay. So, I'm going to teach everyone how to eat the pancit hab hab because I'm an expert now. So first, you start with a little bit of suka. Oh, pasa pasa. And then, take note, you have to listen carefully. You have to use your tongue as a spoon and your teeth as a fork. So you basically stick your tongue out like a snake and then use your teeth like a, like a rat. Like that? Like that. Okay. And then, and then, then you just kind of slurp it like a like a hungry dragon okay 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 you just slurp got it, it? Out. spoon fork snake rat dragon spoon <laughs> fork okay rat dragon okay go Are you... like that like that yes <laughs> okay <Then> dragon <laughs> the dragon sound of the dragon you have to the right? bar okay. 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 okay one two three go go Mmm. See? Reaction, guys. Mmm. <laughs> Come on. Mmm. There was a Right around the corner from Old Center Pancitoria is this place called Ups and this restaurant. <laughs> Now, I'm gonna taste their hardinera. <laughs> oh, it's sarap. Yan na. It's so sarap. And it's only found here in Lukban, so I need to get my fix while I'm here, diba? Where else am I gonna eat this? Walang ganito sa Manila, diba? After that fun experience of eating pancit hab hab at Old Center Pancitaria, I head over to my next destination, which is a restaurant called Absedes for their specialty hardinera. It was a rather quick drive to Absedes. Lukban is a lovely little municipality and most of the popular places are located near each other. Absedes is a simple little spot, but I'm sure this Hardinero is something special. Right around the corner from Old Center Pancitaria is this place called Absedes Resto. 
Now, I've heard that they have a dish here called Hardinera. And I was lucky enough because the owner, Miss Percy, invited me into her kitchen so I can learn about what it is and what ingredients compose it and maybe why it's called Hardinera. Let's go see what it is. Hi, Miss Percy. Hi, Miss Sandra. Welcome to Upsetis Resto. Thank you so much. Now, I heard that there's a dish here called Hardinera. Yeah. Now, I must admit, I'm a little bit confused because when I think of Hardinera, I think of Hardinero. So what exactly is this dish? Uh, Hardinero is from pork uh, meat and uh, put in the in, uh, container called uh, Lanera. Lanera, okay. Yeah. Kaya pala, so Hardinero, Lanera. Okay, I can see the connection now. Okay. I, I heard you're gonna invite yeah. me to your kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. I'm here now in the kitchen with Alan. Hi, Mom. And he's gonna teach me how to make this hardinera. Now, there's like 20 ingredients in front of me. So, anong gagawin natin sa mga ingredients na to, Alan? Mabali po, imimix natin lahat ng nakaano naka po dito. Bali, ito po ang una natin. Ano yung chicken? Ito po, pork, pork meat. Pork, pork meat, Mom. Pork. Pre-cooked ba to? Parang luto na to. Luto na po yun na kinulog po. Next po, ay ito naman. Frank Parters. Philip. Sausage. Sausage. Okay. Next po, shredded cheese. Ah, may cheese pa na. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Sliced pickles. Ang dami naman. <laughs> diba ang dami yung ingredients? Sliced pickles, ma'am. Patted meat. Okay. okay, pate. Liver. Yung, uh, ito ma'am, yung uh, maling. Maling, okay. So, lunch on meat. Ah, yes. And raisin, ma'am, yung uh, pas ano po? pasas. Raisin. Yung uh, tidbits, pineapple. Pineapple. Okay, so there's parang sweet, salty, may konti then, creamy. Uh, ito, ma'am, press lara, red and creamy. Bell pepper. And uh, yung ano po, yung breadcrumbs, yung browas. Okay. And then, ma'am, di bali, ano po, tigigisa na natin siya. Okay. So, step number one. Step. Dadalhin natin dyan. Apo. O, oh, sige. Ako nang bali. No? <laughs> Ngayon, ma'am Sandra, matas po natin ilagay ang mga ingredients. Kaya, ngayon po, ito yung tinawag natin hardinera. Eh, nilalagay natin siya sa steamer. Okay. Uy! 45 minutes, ma'am. 45 minutes. minutes, okay. for giving me a behind-the-scenes peek on how you make this hasindera. Hardinera. Hardinera hasindera. <laughs> Hardinera. Okay, so I'm excited to try it because I know it takes some time pa to prepare, no? We're waiting for 45 minutes. Yeah, <laughs> tastes good, delicious. Yeah, but it's, so it's really like a meatloaf, no? From what I saw. Uh, thank you. Diba? It's like a... It's like an embutido meets a meatloaf. Yeah. Uh, but uh, uh, this is a specialty here in Lokban. In Lokban, right. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at that. Fiesta, yeah. uh, baptismal, birthday. So it's really yeah. like a uh, Wedding, special occasion. Yeah, special food. occasion. So, Miss Percy, when did you open up Sede? Uh, December 2003. Oh, okay. So, yeah, about 10 years ago yeah. or so, no? And these are all your family recipes and local recipes? Ah, uh, uh, family, yes. What are your other specialties here other than this? Ah, uh, Lokban Longanisa, Pansin Lokban, uh, Bombay. Okay. Yeah, Lokban. Nice. And I love how... So far, the things that I've eaten here in Lupan always involve some sort of banana leaf under or something. It's, it's really nice because it really, it's it's part of the Philippines, the right? Yeah. So, I'm not so many places use this anymore. It's nice to see. You try it. Okay, I will try it. Oh, there were so many things that went into making this dish. 
I, I think I counted over 20 ingredients in the kitchen when Alan was cooking it for me. Okay, let me get my cubiertos ready. Right. Ooh. Oh, it's so soft. Mm. Very soft. Okay. Mmm. Yep. Very soft. Lots of flavors going on. Sausages. Sausages. The meat. The pork. Yeah. Egg. The egg. Pickles, yeah. Now, do you normally eat this on its own, or do people mix it? Do they make it a sandwich sometimes, or with sandwich, rice? Yeah. Very nice. Uh, breakfast, meriendas, lunch. Mm. Very Thank yummy. You. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm really enjoying this. It's nice to see how... I was so happy that I got to see the preparation method. Parang, I appreciate it even more now. So our viewers could taste it also. Yeah, I have a restaurant in Manila. Ah, you do pala? Yeah, no, Maka where? Makati. In Makati. You see, it's centralized, but it's in, they have this restaurant in Makati, so you could taste this. Where Where in Makati? Ah, uh, Hill Puyat for near Medina Street. Ah, okay. So there you go, guys. There's an Abseda restaurant in Makati. And you can taste this dish that I'm having in front of me, which was prepared with so many ingredients and, and took so much time to make. And it's really yummy. It's something like Miss Percy said, you can have it for breakfast or yeah, merienda or lunch. lunch. Any way you want. Sandwich, sandwich. or with rice. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm going to have another you. serving of this. So again, this is the specialty Delicious. here. Yes. <laughs> Delicious hardinera. Can you say it right this time? Hardinera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hardinera. like a leche flan, but it's all meat. <laughs> mm. There's so much going on here. You have the fruits, you have the meat, you have the pickles, all sorts of happy stuff combined into that llanera. po ang uh, coloring niya yung uh, aswete po. Aswete. Ah, kaya, kaya pala ganun yung kulay. Apo. What makes this look ban longganese stand out? Ano yung lasa niya? Bakit iba siya? Delight yourself with a savory taste of life the second time around through tidbits of delicacies and heritage. Embark on a culinary journey across the nation with Sandra Rocha. That, my friends, is what I'm talking about. You have this beautiful marrow-filled bone and a crown of meat around it. As she revels in mouth-watering cuisines from one stop to another. Something to Chew On, Season 2. It's the beginning of a new day and I'm starting it by seeing how Lukban Longanisa is made. Yesterday, I got to visit Old Center Pancitaria and I got to experience the delicious pancit hub hub. For today, I want to see how another local favorite here is made. Now that of course is the Lukban Longanisa or Langonisa. I don't know, they seem to be calling it Langonisa here but whatever it's called, I'm sure it's delicious and I want to go see how it's made. Hi, good morning, Mr. Daza. Good morning, ma'am. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. So, Mr. Daza owns this awesome Lukban Longanisa stand here. And he's given me a backstage pass, diba? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so let's see how it's made. Pasok po kayo, ma'am. Salamat. Mr. Daza's kitchen and he has the ingredients on how to make this delicious Lukban Longganisa ready in front of us. 
<laughs> okay, ma'am. Ito po ang uh, traditional way na panggagawa ng laban sa lakban. Una po, ang pagpili po ng magandang klase ng karne, consisting po ng 70% ng lean meat at 30% ng fats para po maging uh, tender and juicy siya. Okay. Ang, uh, ito po ang uh, lalagay natin. Ito po ang major uh, ingredients po mm -hmm. ng laban sa lakban. Ito po ang bawang. Bawang. Ang dami, no? Opo. That's why it's malasa. Sarap. So, sandang po natin na ngayon ang asin. Okay. Ito siya, uh, ayo dahil salt. Okay. Sundan po natin ang paminta ngayon. Pepper. For a little bit of spice. Sundan po natin ang... Ito po ang coloring niya, yung aswete po. Aswete. Ah, kaya, kaya pala ganun yung kulay. Ah, po. Okay. And uh, last but not the least, ito po ang... Uh, muna sa dyan mo blood meat. Okay. Then, uh, pagkagay po natin lahat ng ingredients, pahalo na po natin sa ano. Okay. And this side, ito yung production. Apo. See, Mr. Daza doesn't use a machine to make his longganisa. And I guess you don't have to when you have awesome employees that work just as efficiently as one. Look at them go! Ang bilis! <laughs> and everything's the same size. Wow! Kasi <laughs> uh, tagal na po na mag nagagawa ng longganisa, kaya ano na po rin mm -hmm. yung mga sizes niya. Nakita ko yung sign langgonisa, pero yung alam ko longganisa. Ano ba talaga ito? Langgo or longga? Kasi po dito sa Lakban, talaga po ang uh, spell namin, langgonisa. Langgonisa. Okay. okay, so it's Lukban langgonisa, not longganisa. Grabe naman. Okay, so ito yung wrapper ninyo. Intestine ba yun or anong ginagamit? Ayan po ma'am, ay imported color dyan from Ukraine pa. Wow, from Ukraine. Wow, so you know, there's more to it than you think because other longganisas are made using uh, intestine, actually, as what it's encased in. And here he uses important color. Mm -hmm. oh. Kaling, ah, parang, they're really like a machine, no? <laughs> Ang bilis! <laughs> now they're doing the double, uh, ano, ano yung pangalan? Double size, ma'am. Double, okay. So, anong ibang longganisa meron kayo dito? Actually, mga mga kami po yung nagagawa ng spicy. Meron din po kami chicken. Mm -hmm. At meron din po kami smoke right. ng barisa. Iba-ibang variety. Okay. Now, alam ko na may, exactly, may maraming variety ng longganisa kasi it's a favorite, not just here in Lukban, but in the Philippines. What makes this Lukban longganisa stand out? Ano yung lasa niya? Bakit iba siya? Ang pagkakaiba po ng longganisa Lukban, wala po kasi siyang preservative. Hmm. All natural ingredients. Right. Okay. Galing. Okay, so yung, pero yung lasa niya, parang... Uh, spicy or or uh, mas uh, maasim or something anong ang uh, lasa po nalo galing sa lakban pag uh, uh, matitikman nyo talaga kong uh, lasang bawang mabawang po talaga siya okay great well there you have it now you got to see how this Quezon favorite is made well not just a Quezon favorite but it's a favorite that all of us enjoy for breakfast and uh, this is one of the ways of making it Thank you so much, Mr. Daza. Thank you. Very much. <laughs>
Hi, Sandra. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Mustiolas. Thank Welcome you. Welcome to Salubban, our town. Thank you so Halika, much. Halika. Oh, wow. Ito ang variety Grabe. ng traditional foods namin, mga lutong lukban. Daming Happy choices. Yeah, Kaya pala, classes. may nakita ko ng sign sa harap na best karinderian oh, town. Oh, thank you very much. Ay, pero you know what? All of this looks delicious. But the one that I want to try is your kinulog. Ah, kinulog. Yung traditional na kinulog. Yes. Nag-prepare kami niya para sa'yo. Makita Yay. mamaya. Gawin natin sa loob. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Alvin was very welcoming and he led us into his kitchen to see how the kinulob was cooked. It is a special dish made out of carabao meat and I was lucky that they were kind enough to prepare it for me because they don't usually serve this dish every day. Aha! So we here we have it, their kinulob. Now I'm really excited to try this because apparently it's made with karneng carabao, which I've never had before. So that should be exciting. And of course I have my side order of the longanisa, which you saw it was you saw the process of how it was made the good old-fashioned way earlier this morning. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this. It's like a stew, pretty much like a stew. Ooh, and the beef. I wonder if the beef is gonna be tougher since it's carabao or softer. Let's see. Oh, it's very soft. Hmm. Mm. It tastes like beef, but this is actually very, very tender. It seems to be leaner, actually, and the sauce is very delicious. It's, um, actually, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of uh, almost like a, the flavor of a nilaga, but turned into a beef stew. So it's really, really yummy, and it's perfect because I haven't had lunch yet, so I'm really happy. Mmm. This is a definite must-try dish when you're in Lukban. Of course, you need to put a lot of sauce. I also understand now what the sign meant when it said best cut in the Rian town because I could see there were so many options, but the true test is taste. And from just trying this, it really is delicious and it tastes home-cooked. Then you have this very simple karinderia setup. You know, it's very straight to the point. You have the food set up out there. And you have these chairs with a red and yellow color, which helps increase appetite. And it just makes you want to just enjoy your food and then go and move on to the next things that you need to do for the day. Now, I'm going to change it up a bit. And I'm going to enjoy some of this longanisa because earlier it was torture because I could smell it. I could see how they were preparing it. But I didn't have time to eat it just yet. You gotta love longanisa. It really is one of my favorite things to eat. It's a nice contrast and um, actually complement of this dish because this longanisa is somewhat salty, a little bit spicy, and it goes so well with the maasin vinegar. And then this kinulob is just such a it's a very smooth, comforting, delicious dish. And as I said, I haven't had lunch yet, so now I'm going to combine work and play. Who says you can't mix both together? <laughs> you know, actually, from kinulo, pulo means to cover. So now I know why this dish is so delicious and why the meat is so soft. Because it was probably cooked for several hours and the flavors were all able to infuse together and the meat was able to tenderize. And seriously, carabao meat, I'm very happy and so surprised by it because I was expecting it to be a lot gamier and a lot tougher than cow's meat. But it's not at all. The flavor is so subtle and it's uh, very clean and lean tasting. Now, there's some people think that carabao meat, you know, it has a sort of negative connotation to it. And I personally don't see what that reason is because this is very delicious meat, and to be honest, I highly doubt that any of you would know the difference. Winner! Maraming 
salamat, Aldrin. Oh, thank you very much, Sandra. You're always welcome here. Thank you thank very much. Thank you. Oh, yung daughter ko nga pala si Mustiola. Ah, ikaw pala si Mustiola. I'm so glad you were born because you gave your father the inspiration to open this yes, restaurant. <laughs> si Chola nickname niya. Oh, originally. My wife, <laughs> si Mustiola. Ah, ikaw pala. Okay, the sorry. Yeah, she's the original. <laughs> Kumusta naman yung experience natin sa Kinulog? Natry mo ba? Ay, sobrang sarap pala yung carabao meat. Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. Dito kasi sa town namin, marami talaga na ginagamit namin is yung meat egg carabao. Kami pang mag-asawang nagkuha nun dito sa local market na. Wow, kaya pala. Thank you so much. Hopefully, nagustuhan mo. I did. I really loved it. And that's what I love so much about this show, that I learn new things. Wow, thank you, Sandra. Yeah, salamat. I'll be moving on to my next destination now. Yes, I really did order three desserts because I have a really big sweet tooth and that gives me more things to make you jealous about. It's like I'm eating fluffy Care Bears and their Cloud Castle. Delight yourself with a savory taste of life the second time around through tidbits of delicacies and heritage. Embark on a culinary journey across the nation with Sandra Rocha. That, my friends, is what I'm talking about. You have this beautiful marrow-filled bone and a crown of meat around it. As she revels in mouth-watering cuisines from one stop to another. It really is so nice to be able to walk around town. I've just come from Mustiolas and now I'm at Coffee Clutch. Now, Coffee Clutch means coffee break in German. Although, I'm not here for their coffee, but rather for their yama cake. Oh wow! This place has been around since the 50s, although I feel like I'm back in the 80s. This place is definitely a blast from the past. Oh, I even have some toys over here, Barbie and Ken and other stuff. And over here, there's some kakanin. There's senoritas, romano headers, mm, crunchy cookies, lady fingers. But where is that yama cake? Hmm. Aha, I see a display here. Hello. Hi. Thank you so much. Can I, saan yung yama cake ninyo? This one po Ooh. Ito po yung yama bar namin, and then ito po yung yama rectangle. Okay, can I have isang slice ng yam? Sure, sure. And ano pa yung ibang bestseller niyo? Ang bestseller po namin is ito po yung chocolate flavor. Chocolate. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, okay, isang slice yam cake, isa, isang, isang chocolate. chocolate. Mm -hmm. Exactly, because everyone loves chocolate cake. Tapos, ano pa? Isa pang bestseller. Isa pa po namin ito po yung orange flavor. Orange. Okay, isang orange, chocolate, at yam. Sure. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I really did order three desserts because I have a really big sweet tooth and that gives me more things to make you jealous about. Okay, so I have my three desserts here. Of course, I'm going to start with the yema cake because I've been waiting to try this. It's pretty much a sponge cake with yema icing on top. Let's give it a try. Mmm. That is yummy. It's um, the icing, of course, is the yama. So there's lots of condensed milk and butter in it. And you know, all things that diet food is made out of. I'm gonna move on to my next cake, which is the orange cake. And I love that it has this fluffy sort of marshmallow icing. Again, like I said, blast from the past. It reminds me of all the little cakes from back in the day in the 80s. And I love that they've collected kept this classic style of it. Hmm. Of course, it's good. It's good. It's sugar. It's cake. Hmm. It's so light and fluffy. Now, I'm going to move on to the chocolate. Hmm. Again, a really light, fluffy, sort of sponge type cake. Although the icing is totally evil. It's evil, evil icing. It's so rich and decadent. I feel like I'm gonna get it stuck all over the all over my teeth, but I really don't care because it's just too good. 
that's so yummy. This is really heavenly. Now what can I say, when you're eating cake and sugar and icing and all of this good stuff, there really isn't anything bad that one can say about it. I'm just glad that I have three in front of me so I can go from one to the other and to the other until it's all done and I'm perfectly satisfied. It's like I'm eating fluffy Care Bears and their cloud castle. <laughs> Mmm. Chocolate fudge heaven. <laughs> Don't laugh. I had a great time in Lukban. I love how it felt like a small, friendly neighborhood where everyone cooks excellent food. And I love the fact that they sell their products wrapped in butcher paper or bags made out of newspaper since plastic is banned in the town. I really enjoyed learning how to eat pancit hab hab from John at Old Center Pancitaria. Seeing the tedious preparation of hardinera at Absedes. Learning how Lukban Longanisa is made at GB Dasa. Tasting Kinulob at Mustiolas. And ending with a variety of old fashioned cakes at Coffee Clutch. And that's something for you to chew on. <laughs> Three excellent ways of serving pangos. The thing about fishing is you have to be very patient. What there is that? Go. That's not gonna satisfy my <laughs> appetite. Oh, look at that. It's like I hit the jackpot.